Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Hope you're doing well. What a beautiful day we had. Big dome of high pressure gave us crystal clear skies, light winds in the area. Temperatures actually got into the mid, in some cases, on some car thermometers, mid upper 60s. But under those clear skies tonight, as we've talked about earlier, there is indeed a chance of frost coming our way. And let's go ahead and review the graphic for you. I, I, I just have the informational box coming off of Baltimore City, but for any county illuminated, there is a frost advisory in effect roughly from 2 a.m. through about 10 a.m. And when you look at the overnight lows, this is, is what a wide range of temperatures. Let's just say from Easton and Cambridge, the low to mid 40s, out to Frederick, Hagerstown, we're talking right at that freezing mark. And, and once again, these are urban islands. So you, you start getting out maybe to, to Tawny Town or uh, uh, maybe up to Forest Hill, you could easily see 31 or 32 degrees. So I know it's just an advisory, but, but personally, just me, I'd be taking it real serious. Matter of fact, my plants have already been brought in. And I mentioned ceramic items a little bit earlier that maybe you have on your lawn or, or, or on your deck. They're porous. It's not like we've had a lot of rain and they've been wet, but we have had some moisture around. Gets 31 or 32. They could freeze and crack from the inside. Okay, let's talk about a little good news. Take a, a look at the wider picture. See that big dome high pressure? See that low offshore? It's kind of stuffing up the movement of any weather from the west to the east. This is, uh, was the real comfort in our forecast uh, for tomorrow and for Monday. We're still going to have some moisture indeed come our way, but tell you what, let's do. Let's go ahead and take a look at the seven day forecast and we'll outline a little bit better for you. Uh, tomorrow we're going to say clouds late and we may even hold off shower activity, this kind of a developing situation, until we get into the, let's go ahead and say, uh, uh, after dinner hours toward bedtime. Showers around question mark because if that slug of moisture you just saw slows up, we may uh, delay, belay a little nautical term there for you, a uh, shower activity until later on Monday. Kids may be done trick or treating and some spotty showers Tuesday. So this is in flux, but I think it's in our favor. Now take a look. 72, 72, absolutely beautiful. Uh, maybe a, a couple of showers, albeit those still four shy of 70 Thursday. Four shy of 70 on Friday, a nice day. 70 degrees sunny on Saturday. All things considered, how we're ending uh, October and starting November, that's a pretty darn good forecast. Now back to you.